MDCC Today, doing business in paradise, celebrating the accomplishments and achievements of the 2007 honorees. Pioneer, developer, author, husband, and father. All words that describe tonight's honoree are Donahue Peoples. Mr. Peebles is chairman and CEO of the Peebles Corporation and chairman of the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau. His dreams have become reality in the form of several big projects, including the Royal Palm Hotel, which opened in 2002, hailed at the time as the largest major black-owned hotel in the country. The Royal Palm Hotel is now valued at $140 million. Mr. Peebles also acquired the historic Miami Beach Bath Club and developed that into a luxury condominium complex. Peebles' dazzling portfolio includes not only four-star hotels and luxury residential properties in Miami Beach, but also Las Vegas, Washington, D.C., and San Francisco. Born in Washington, D.C., the only son of a civil servant and a real estate broker, Peebles was destined for greatness. As a teenager, he worked as a congressional page, attended Rutgers University, and in 1979, he started his real estate career as an appraiser. Peebles' career began to fast track when at the age of 23, he was appointed by Mayor Marion Barry to the District of Columbia's Board of Real Property Assessment and Appeal. Later, he became the youngest chairman of the board. In 1989, People started a highly successful commercial tax assessment appeals firm in D.C. By 1991, appealing over 400 tax assessment appeal cases annually with the highest success rate of any tax assessment appeals firms in Washington, D.C. In 1997, Peebles moved his corporation to South Florida and expanded the operation to include hospitality and luxury residential divisions dedicated to the development and ownership of premier hotel and condominium properties. In 2007, he authored The Peebles Principles, which details his journey of success from a congressional page to the CEO of the largest black-owned real estate firm in the country. Among his principles, being lucky means being ready. If the key doesn't fit, change the lock. Be a bulldog on details. Mr. Peebles is a family man, a husband, and a father of two. The Miami-Dade Chamber of Commerce honors Mr. R. Donahue Peebles, the 2007 Business Person of the Year. Good evening, I'm Julia Yarbo with NBC6. This is the MDCC Today, doing business in paradise. And we're here with Donahue Peebles, who is being honored as the Business Person of the Year by the Miami-Dade Chamber of Commerce. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank and you congratulations. Very, thank you very much for having me, and great to be here. This is a wonderful honor. What does it feel like to be recognized as Business Person of the Year? Oh, it's a great honor, of course, to be recognized by my peers, other minority entrepreneurs and other entrepreneurs within our community. And it's especially a good feeling to have it here in one of the greatest environments in the world here in South Florida. So a double positive and I'm real excited. How did you actually build Atlantic Development Corporation into the largest African-American owned development corporation in the U.S.? That's no easy task. As an entrepreneur, you know, we are all visionaries. We all like to go to uncharted waters. And one of the things that I think made the People's Corporation continue to grow as a company was that we looked out for new opportunities, new challenges, and we're not afraid to go into different waters and different environments. The biggest challenge is always access to capital, finding sources of capital that will share your vision and also have a high expectation of performance. I think that one of the challenges we face as minority business people is a lower of expect expectations to where we're not expected to be as good and in many instances we're better. And outside of securing capital, any other pieces of advice for the, all those out there who want to follow in your footsteps? Absolutely. When you remember what your mother told you, what your grandparents told you, you know, what your father told you, what your friends told you, you can do anything you set your mind to. There are no limitations. I love it. And you said, again, you touched on this saying that you talked about your mistakes also. Do you feel like some of those mistakes are the things that actually made you stronger and that much more successful to put you where you are today? Absolutely. In fact, not only that, within the mistakes and the setbacks that came from those mistakes, greater opportunity presented itself. I'm a believer, and especially after writing The People's Principles, I believe that each setback is an opportunity in disguise. 
Well, obviously one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why you're business person of the year. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. And congratulations. Thank you.